Hey guys, uh, the purpose of this video is just to answer a general question that I get a lot, um, which is what is the difference between a repayment plan and a loan modification? Um, and so hopefully this will just quickly answer your questions um, as you kind of like decide what's best for you. So typically my clients come to me when they have already defaulted on the mortgage, meaning they're behind. Let's say just for the sake of example, someone comes to me four months behind and they say, I wanna keep my home, uh, I can't pay the full four months, but I could now just resume making those regular mortgage payments. And then they say something like, I wanna apply for a repayment plan or I wanna apply for a modification. And I think it's important to understand kind of what those two things are generally and how they're different. So a repayment plan is, is a repayment plan to get you current on the original mortgage that you took out. And typically what that entails is the bank gives you a written agreement that allows you to resume making mortgage payments and then you pay a little bit extra every month to go toward those back dues. And then at a certain point you become current on the loan and then you just resume making mortgage payments. So for example, if your original mortgage payment was $2,000 a month, you default for three months, for example. So we're not adding any like crazy interest just for my ability to do math. Um, but let's say you owe $6,000 and the bank puts you on a repayment plan. A repayment plan might look like, okay, you resume making $2,000 a month plus an extra $1,000 a month for six months until you've paid everything you owe. And then you just resume on that regular mortgage, making the regular mortgage payment every month. A couple important things to understand about repayment plans is most servicers, most investors limit the amount that they can give you a repayment plan for, for either one year or six months. So if you're somebody who's behind over a year or been behind for a very long time, banks probably aren't going to consider you a good candidate for a repayment plan. The downside of some repayment plans is it's often un unaffordable, right? So if you're somebody who can resume making your mortgage payment, but you don't have an extra large amount of money every month to quickly pay these back dues down, a repayment plan probably isn't gonna be the best option for you. But a repayment plan does not write you a new loan. It's just a written agreement where the bank agrees to let you kind of get yourself current and then move forward. Um, what's important to understand too about a repayment plan is that foreclosure, does not necessarily go away during your repayment plan period and you're not necessarily reported as current. So banks view repayment plans as you're staying in default while you slowly pay current and then once you get current, however long your repayment plan is, so if your repayment plan is six months, in six months you will be brought current and that is a point when the delinquent reporting on your credit report stops, that's the point when the bank says you're fully current again. So a repayment plan should hold off foreclosure, but they don't have to remove you from default and they don't have to remove the foreclosure. It's very, very, very important that if you believe you have a repayment plan approved, that you get it in writing, they should be able to write the date that each payment is due and the full amount of the payment. And so if you have somebody over the phone tell you verbally, hey, you're approved for a repayment plan, um, you're gonna wanna say, great, send that to me in writing. And if you're having trouble getting it in writing or you think that the payments are incorrect or too high or something and you're in the state of Washington, give me a call. So that's repayment plan. Modification is different. A modification essentially is the bank and you negotiating in order to write yourself a new loan. What they generally, and again, each modification is different, each investor is different, but generally what a modification does is it takes the amount that you owe, meaning all the months that you missed, your late fees, your interest, whatever, and they typically add it to a principal balance and write you a new loan for an extended term of time. So if you were on a 30 year loan and then you became six months behind, the bank would and the bank gives you a modification, they would start a new loan you know, the following month and they'd say, you're on a new loan now, here's a new principal balance that includes the payments you missed and they extend that out for a 30 year term or something like that. And then you just start making your regular mortgage payments. A modification is different from a repayment plan because a new loan agreement actually gets recorded. You'll sign, you'll notarize a new loan agreement and then whatever the original mortgage that you took out is, is no longer valid. You have a new principal balance and sometimes a new interest rate that can be a little different depending on the market rate. But 
some people think that the benefit of a modification is that you don't have to pay your mortgage payment and your additional arrears. They take those arrears as a lump chunk and they kind of add it to the principal balance. So different from a repayment plan, a repayment plan you're paying to get back current on your original agreement. A modification is you kind of get a new agreement, but it avoids that extra payment every month to pay off the arrears. Um, there are pros and cons to each agreement. I am not making a stand in any way as to which one is better. The purpose of this is just to let you know that they are different and the words are not interchangeable. So before you start to talk to your lender about which one you want, think through the finances and which one would work better for you. And if you're in the state of Washington and want any help trying to figure that out, let me know and we can go over it.